point of this would be. <laughs> Hopefully, you can see the otter just down here. midsummer. See you in a bit. Yeah, it's really soggy, the ground around here. There's been so much rain the last two or three days. So we're just wandering down to see our uh, Moorhen and Grieve nests, which a friend of ours pointed out they uh, they build on floating platforms, which is cool. Problem is, day like today, um, last week, sorry, we saw them being overtopped by waves, and with the weather like this, that's always the risk. So we'll go and have a look and see if they're uh, if they're okay still. I'll get some pictures of these green chicks. Everybody else seems to be getting them. And not to mention, signets. Loads of signets around the country. We've got a couple of swan's nests, but still not hatched here. We've had so many cold mornings and frosty mornings through April and into early May. Now we've got wet and windy and even colder conditions. Maybe not even colder, but it certainly feels cold this morning. Cheers. guys so I'm up, uh, up on the high ground at the, today uh, this morning as usual weather is very grey dark maybe a bit uh, rain in the air but I just wanted to wander up here um, and tell you about some of the history of, uh, of the place that we call home in North Beds this is the valley of the River Great Ouse you can see down below me you can see the two churches, one here and one closer. So there were two villages, one on top of this hill and one on the top of the, the far hill. Both were impacted by plague and both resettled to join each other. That village over there is across the water. And across the water, in about 870, was the Danelaw. So I've moved across 
from the Danelaw into the countryside which was administered and ruled by uh, Wessex by King Alfred. But this is amazing to think that we are in a different constituency here across the water from that village down there. So just unbelievable when you think, think it through. I'm going to take a wander now down towards the river. So over and out for a bit. down quite a, a steep incline off the hill you can see the river behind me sorry about the shake the river and also the uh, the lakes that I was talking about earlier there are gravel extraction pits there is all basically a quarry <laughs> which had since filled up the water and has been, uh, been left to go wild and it's now a wonderful nature reserve uh, country park Wandering down to uh, the Danelaw Bridge. There would have been a settlement in this area for up to 6,000 years ago. That was just around the time that farming was about to be practiced by uh, farmers coming in from Europe and uh, the methods displacing the, uh, the old hunter-gatherers that used to be here. So lots of evidence about uh, an influx of people from Europe. I've been around here whether they probably had a ford here rather than a bridge. But what a place, huh? What a place. Morning guys, it's uh, Sunday, as you can see it's a beautiful morning and um, I realised that I hadn't given, a, given an update on our coot's nest um, which we were observing for about three or four weeks, two pairs. Um, I have to tell you there's no chicks, if there were, uh, if there was hatch, hatchings then they, they'd gone we saw a carrion crow around that area in the last uh, week or so um, we saw him again today they just seem to be waiting around for uh, eggs to hatch so there's my update and unfortunately there is uh, there's no sign of any coot chicks at all but it's a beautiful morning again sorry not again it's the first time we've had any sun for ages <laughs> Well, I'm, uh, I'm bushwhacking again. I'm just uh, looking for my uh, our swan nest, which appears to be unoccupied. So there must be signets around. But where is the big question? There's a heron patrolling around this area. I've just seen him fly across that this small lake here. So, uh, hmm, wonder where they've gone. Just keep searching. Just trying to 
spot this woodpecker for a photo for a photograph. Well, there's a lot of uh, searching through undergrowth and, and bushwhacking, but not much of a result. So, uh, got a couple of photographs, but not, not much really. All very, all very difficult to see as the uh, uh, vegetation starts to, to grow. And it is starting, this path is almost becoming um, impassable. But anyway, that's me for this week. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just stay safe out there because this, this thing's not gone away quite yet. Yeah, just stay safe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers. guys this seat and these seats around this area just got me thinking of all the people that have lost their lives in this in this pandemic um, so this one's for uh, for absent friends